Hi everyone, Central here. Welcome to Luau Day. Uh, it's gonna be beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Spirits are somewhat annoyed. Well, I'm to living off the land. Back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Starting tomorrow, an unusual amount of shells and corals are expected to wash up on, on wash up on beaches all around the world. I'm no scientist, but I've heard it's something to do with crab mating season. At any rate, you can make some good coin combing your local beach. We'll have to do that, and it's really good that I built the bridge because we'll get a, even more shells and corals. Maybe that's what all of you were alluding to, so thank you there. Dear Central, I saw an article about you in the local paper. It looks like the country life is a good fit for you. So proud of you. Take care, sweetie. Love, Mom. <laughs> okay. The peaches are just about done. They should be ready two days from now, because it took 12 days, right? We planted them on the first. Okay, we need to get all the watering done, and then we can head to the luau. Oops. Didn't charge that one up. <laughs> Out of water. In the summer, I'm really going to have to upgrade this watering can. <laughs> Or I'd like to get the sprinklers, is what I would like to get. And instead of just having nine, just do eight and a sprinkler in the middle. That would save me a lot of time. I've never really had anything like that in a Harvest Moon. Ones that I really used, anyway. <laughs> And it'll be time to go to the beach. I didn't wonder. Oh, they're done. So there's that. Uh, wheat. And we're actually going to keep some of this. I'm going to keep ten of these. And then we're gonna rebuy them tomorrow. Can't buy them today. Store that, or did I store them in this one? Luau has begun at the beach. Store these here, and I watered everything, so we should be okay to go. So let's do just that. <laughs> it just dawned on me that I am now wearing thermal boots in summer. Because we're not inside the frosty cave. Inside the frosty cave, they're great. And now I'm wearing them out here in the heat. <laughs> oh well. What do we have here? How am I going to reach that letter in the back? Oh, hey, it's Penny. Hmm? Here, let me help you, Mr. Molnar. Oh, how nice of her. <laughs> Push. <laughs> Got it. There you go. How nice of her. I could have done it myself. I certainly move around on my own. How feeble do you think I am? That's not what it was about. Hey. Cinder, you were watching us. I was. You did a kind thing there, Penny. You should have left him alone. Now he's grumpy, 
I'm just taking a walk minding my own business. That's the buy option. <laughs> I was. You did a kind thing there, Penny. You're welcome. George was just so upset. I was only trying to help. Yeah, I get it. I understand. No, no. I'm sorry, miss. Shouldn't have gotten so angry. That's alright. It's actually very kind of you to help me out. It's okay, Mr. Mulner. I understand. Yeah, I do too. It's nice of you, Penny. Must be difficult to grow old. I'd rather not think about it. It's just a different part of life. It's why we should respect our elders. I'd rather die young. <laughs> 12. No. Um. Funny, I'm not old, but I know I have a lot of younger viewers, and my birthday at the time of this recording was a few weeks ago, and I turned 30. So there's a part of me that is, you know, looking back just a little bit. I know I have a lot of life ahead of me, but you know, my 20s are gone. It's just, it's interesting that this that this pops up. <laughs> uh, it's just a different part of life. Right, we shouldn't ignore the re the reality of aging. Guess the sooner we come to terms with our own mortality, the more time we can spend really living in the here and now. I agree with that. Interesting talking to you, Central. I should go. See ya, Penny. Maybe at the luau? <laughs> Funny that that event happened there. I have no energy. Man, watering all the crops really does take it, take it out of me. Like I said, I know I'm not old, but to some of you, I might be old. <laughs> and to some of you, maybe I have a lot of some older viewers, I might be young. So, um, age is a really interesting thing. It, it, it's so much perspective is age to me. But I also believe in the, you're only as, uh, as old as you feel you are. You know, you could be 65 and still, you know, be like a, be young at heart. So, there's that too. Oh, this must be the governor. What a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. So you're super important, because mayor, but you're the governor of our place here. Don't be in Joja's pocket. Anyway. Music is too loud. <laughs> Can I have a little peace and quiet to enjoy the ocean? Smell of the ocean takes me back many years, long before you were born. She's unresponsive. I'm bored. She is just completely into the music. <laughs> would dance, but I don't want to get sweaty. Perfect weather for a beach party, huh? Yeah, for sure. Over here by your lonesome Abigail. It's tiring to socialize with everyone. I'd rather watch the sea. Alright, kind of a loner. Let's see if anybody's all the way out here. Willie is. Taking a breather? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> Anybody on the other side of the dock? What's up, wizard? The mer people are curious about your festivities. What? Mer people? I want to meet said mer people. Why can I not take some of this food with me? <laughs> How's the farm farming coming along? Must be a busy season for you. Pretty bitch. Yeah, that's that's a hundred percent true. It is a busy season for me. Woke up late, stepped out of my door, and find myself in the middle of all this hubbub. <laughs> I 
I'll be back here by the trees. The air is a lot cooler. Governor? Who cares? I care. <laughs> we do this festival every year to give the governor a taste of everything the valley has to offer. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, I got just the thing. Slow, continuous rotation is key to achieving the perfect roast. Good thing I came with sunscreen. Whatever Linus is roasting smells awfully good. <laughs> I'm full, but what else is there to do besides eat? <laughs> Continue eating. Hope the soup is good this year. Oh man, big like potluck soup. If you brought something for the soup, climb the stairs on the other side and throw it in. Alright. I'll help. Oh, I can't give that. I can give the crystal fruit. Give it, you know, a little bit of flavor. I think that'll be good. We can do that. Added crystal fruit. Give it some fruit. Can't go wrong with that. Free buffet. One of the perks of living here. Enjoy it, kid. Maybe if I get on the governor's good side, he'll give my business a tax break. See? Pierre's got the right thinking. You get on the governor's good side, maybe, you know, get get some help. And if I'm going up against a huge corporation like Joja, I could use some help. <laughs> I wonder if he likes aged whiskey. Oh, there you go. See, but Pierre's got a general store. He could have the good stuff put fresh vegetables from my garden into the communal soup pot. That's good. I think... No, I didn't talk with everybody yet. Ah, you don't get hot pepper chutney like this in the big city? Don't know what that is. These blasted sand flies keep landing on the food. Now I see, that's a shame. Okay, I think I talked with everybody, except a couple dancing. Really tiring, honey. You ready to visit the buffet soon? <laughs> Step to my foot, dear. <laughs> hey, Mayor. Look sharp. The governor's here for his annual visit. You brought something for the potluck. Make sure and add it to the soup cauldron. I did? Should we move forward with the luau? Governor seems a little hungry. Not quite yet. Can I talk to him again? I must speak to the missus about purch purchasing a vacation home here. Interesting, okay. Being the governor, got some money, I get it. Alright, let's get started. Hopefully my fruit will add some flavor to the to the soup. Well folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high-quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. Oh, high-quality. Huh. Well, it's not high-quality. Next year, I'll put, like, high-quality corn in it. That'd be good. Or high-quality tomato. Well, governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? Of course! I've been looking forward to this all year. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Very pleasant soup. Yes. Pro uh, produce from this valley never disappoints. It'll be even better next year, I assure you, Governor. Finest ingredients from my farm. Mmm, tasty. Y'all did very well today. Now, who else wants some soup? I want soup. Luau was a success. Good thing I brought something tasty for the soup. Time to head home. <laughs> Not quite what I had in mind, but you know it worked out all the same. Okay. It's 10 o'clock. I'm gonna go to the community center. 
to end this day. That way I don't have to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll also visit the shop and we'll uh, buy some more wheat seeds. Maybe. I gotta have money to buy melon seeds. Because I want to replant them as soon as they're done. Oh yeah, tomato, blueberry, and melon. Gotta remember that. Gotta bring a melon. And I need five high-quality melons as well. A winter foraging bundle. Crystal fruit. That's done. Snow, yam, and crocus. Over to this side. I need field research bundle. There's a frozen geode. And that was it, I believe. Oh no, the monster. Adventurer's Bundle, Batwing. Oh, once I get the 99 Slime, this will be done. I don't have to get the Solar Essence and Void Essence. I didn't notice that the very first time we looked at that. That'll be good. Uh, we need a lot more Slime, though. <laughs> we'll get that in time. A lot of stuff to do tomorrow. We should visit the Blacksmith as well for the uh, the Geodes. I would upgrade the axe, but I'm going to, again, need the money for for the melons. Okay. It is getting late. Very successful day. Pet. Let's... also need to visit the Adventurer's Guild in the afternoon. I want to sell the leather boots and steel small sword because I was told I could sell it. I also need to sell the carving knife, the rusty sword. I'm going to keep the club. Because I still like the damage on it. It's a little more than the forest sword. I'll sell all those. Um, I'm going to sell one of the torches just to see how much it sells for. <laughs> Probably nothing, but... Store the iron... Sell the torch! A torch. Let's put those down here. I don't want to accidentally sell the awesome forest sword. The most awesome thing i found so far. <laughs> um... That will do it for today. Ah, I sold for five. <laughs> and, of course, we sold the wheat. All right, that will do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun with the luau. I did. I like, I like the events like that. I think they're a lot of fun. And it's interesting to talk to everybody and see how it plays out. And I'm glad it played out in my favor. Until the next episode... I'm Cinder A9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.